Hey, my beautiful people. If you want to see how I created this three-tone color, stay tuned. I'm so super excited about this color, so here's what I use. A brush and a bowl from Annie's, some Clairol Professional Pure White Tin Volume Developer, some Adore in the color Honey Brown, so beautiful. This dark, intense auburn, so beautiful, okay, so cute. Um, some Ion Color Brilliance, the red series, it's called RV 3.5. I use hair clips. I love hair clips. I'm so obsessed with them. Buy too many for no reason. Some double color bowl. I love this. I linked this down below for you guys. And some um, bleach, hair bleach, and some 40 developer. Anything that I used in this video, I tried to link down below, and some of them are affiliate links. So let's get started. You're going to want to start by parting a diagonal in the hair. You're going to start right above the ears because this is going to be kind of like a peekaboo effect. It's whatever color. So if you want to start with the darkest color on the bottom, do that. If you want the lighter color on the bottom, do that. It's going to be more of a peekaboo color depending on the length. But because my mannequin has so many layers in her hair, you're going to be able to see it. But it's not going to stand out like those other colors because I started with a darker color. So basically what I'm doing is parting from right above the ear to like this V shape. If you're doing all your hair, try to do as perfect as possible. It is what it is when I'm playing with my mannequins. But I think I did a pretty good job with this V. So here is the Ion Color Brilliant Red Series. It's a dark burgundy brown. Ugh. I am obsessed with red colors. I have no idea. But I used so many red colors when I was in cosmetology school. That was almost 10 years, almost 10 years ago. Um, so I was super obsessed with red colors and I remember going into the store and picking up these because these, are, this is the brand that we used to use in, um, cosmetology school and I just stick with it cause I know it. I used it for a year, um, in every color I did. So I'm really used to it. So let me tell you how to mix this color. You're going to use a one or one ratio. That means if you use an ounce of color, you're going to use an ounce of developer. It's a one to one ratio. So let me show you guys how I mix the other one. And because it came out of a box, I used the whole thing. There was no reason for me to reuse this stuff or to try to measure it out. Just use the whole thing when it comes to box color. Stop, don't try to figure out the measurements and all that stuff and mess up your hair. It's just best to use the entire product. We're going to be honest. Okay, so here I'm going to show you guys a little trick to help you save color. You're going to take your index finger and your middle finger and you're going to pinch softly the hair between your fingers after you have placed that top little color on there. Go ahead, y'all see how I'm doing? And as you're sliding your color down on the front of that hair, you're going to slide your fingers down. This will help coat the back. So that means it's coating the inside of that hair, around the hair, down the hair, and the back of the hair. So that means you won't have to use a lot of color to coat the front and the back. You can save yourself some color, especially if you have super long or super thick hair that requires you to buy extra, extra color. I get it. I understand. I'm trying to help you guys out.
where we're going to start to work on the second and third color. And you're going to create a rectangle shape. And you want to make sure that it's not too far back. And not really too far up. But if you go too far up, it shouldn't be a problem. But you definitely don't want to go too far back. It's just going to look like you forgot to color that spot. I just want y'all to know, just don't go too far back. So we're just going to repeat the same steps as the first time on this second color and then I'm going to come back and show y'all a cool little trick when you get ready to do your third color. Now we're gonna mix the hair bleach and I just followed the instructions on the package. Six scoops and five ounces of developer and it gave me a perfect consistency. And I'm not gonna lie, the color came out perfect. Wasn't the color I was coming going for, but like it was beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna use some 40 developer and I'm going to do five ounces of that to mix with the powder. And if you're wondering why I'm using so many different color brands and all those things, it's because we're safer at home right now. I um, wasn't going to go to the Beauty Supply or Sally's or any of those stores just to pick up color to put in my mannequin's hair. Or order it off of Amazon. Not right now because I really don't need it. I had all this stuff that I really need to be getting rid of. So I'm like, let me use what I already have. And that's why I'm doing it. But I suggest if you are going to do this on your hair, use the same brands. They're meant to work together so then you won't look up and your hair is on the ground. I'm just saying. Also, I'm using this red gold color corrector. You want to use about 10 drops. This stuff is life. You will see. You will see. Give it up for the plastic wrap. 
plastic wrap should really be a staple in black hair care because plastic wrap be giving us everything we need. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to use plastic wrap to cover up the color that I've already done because if not, the bleached hair could get on top of that color and you'll start to get like a pinkish color and you'll start to get spots and you'll start to have this one little strip that's way lighter than all the others. It's just safe to cover it up. You can also use aluminum foil, but I love plastic wrap because it cleans to itself so then it, it just creates a better barrier in my opinion you don't have to have clips and things like that to hold on to it guys look how beautiful that blonde is okay so i rinsed out the blonde first now i'm showing you this because i don't want you to make the mistake of rinsing all your red hair color with your blonde because it will start to run onto that blonde and you're gonna have like this strawberry milkshake color which you don't want also as y'all can see some of that little blonde color got around to where the red was and that's why I put the plastic wrap on there because I don't want this to happen to you guys as you're coloring. You have tried your hardest to make that color look great. And it just doesn't make sense for there to be, you know, that great blonde streaks that you didn't ask for in that red. Um, so, yeah, make sure, make sure, make sure you tie your hair up with some plastic wrap or some aluminum foil so that the bleach doesn't get on there. I'm not stressed out about it because I could always go back and when I'm putting that, um, when I'm putting the honey blonde that I'm going to put on that blonde spot, I can go back and just like put on parts of that red and it won't look bad. It'll just look like it's grown out a little bit. But you won't be able to see it once the hair is styled anyway. Now, like I said, we're staying at home. We're safer at home right now. So normally I would use neutralizing shampoo. But I'm just going to use the shampoo I have. I would say anytime you're doing a chemical process, use neutralizing shampoo so that pH balance in your hair can go back to the normal range. But I am also, y'all can see, I'm also washing the blonde hair first and then the red hair. Once again, we're trying to keep them from mixing together and ending up with a pink, pink lemonade, pink milkshake looking color. That's not what we're going for here. Also, make sure you read your instructions. Sometimes it tells you to just put um, conditioner over the hair color. And sometimes it tells you to shampoo the hair color. I'm shampooing the whole thing because I put bleach in there. Um, I will follow up with conditioner. Most times when you're doing a red color, depending on uh, what you're using, it's going to tell you just pop some conditioner on there. But read the package. You do not want your hair falling out and trying to figure out why it's falling out. It's because you didn't read the instructions. That's why. So make sure you read the instructions when you're using things. Okay, okay. Now that we're done shampooing, I'm going to add this after color conditioner that came into the box color. And we're going to let this sit for about an hour.
Okay, so after I shampooed, conditioned, and then shampooed that blonde piece again, I'm going to add the Adore. And I shampooed it again because um, perm semi-permanent colors or temporary colors don't stick well to the hair if it has conditioner. So I shampooed again because I was going to have to shampoo after this and then condition the hair one more time anyway. So shampoo, but I did need to condition because we did bleach it. Got to take care of the hair. The health of the hair is the first priority. So that's why I shampooed and conditioned the first time if you were wondering. So now we're going to apply the Honey Blonde color over the blonde pieces that we just created. And basically it will wash out little by little as I style and wash and all that stuff this mannequin's hair. But I kind of wanted to tone that bright blonde down because it really wasn't the color I was going for in my head. So after letting it sit for about an hour, I am going to rinse it, shampoo it, and condition it again. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love it so much. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and watch some more of my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out, much love, and I will see you guys later.